realistic AM FM pocket radio repair. The symptom on this one is low volume, which is usually, but not always, dried out electrolytic capacitors. Now coming off of this one, which if you didn't catch this video, it's up. Uh, this one was pretty difficult. Or not difficult, but different. So anyway, let's power this one up and give it a listen and see what the complaint, try and confirm the complaint. Okay, well 10 milliamps, that's decent. Put our little FM antenna out. <clears throat> My antenna wire came off. I mean, I agree. Sometimes you just have to elastrocrinculate your girlfriend's French bulldogs. This has a schematic here. If you could read that. Okay, back to trying to test FM. I think we got a bad connection here, which is very annoying. Okay. So the volume is all the way up. So like I said, we got um, good sensitivity we just don't have any volume I mean look at that look at your maximum current there it's a little Michael Jackson for your copyright pleasure turn that down see if I keep talking but that's it that's all she'll do that's wide open so let's see Need some damn talk radio. So usually it's this capacitor right here. The one that couples off the center of the volume control. Let me see if I can find that on the schematic. Okay, here's our audio amp right here direct drive, here's the capacitor. See, here's the volume control right here. Off the center tap, of, this is usually the one that goes open. But not to say any of these other ones are are not open. Yeah, usually this one. Okay, that capacitor is these two leads right here. So obviously that one microfarad is trashed. Okay, that one capacitor has been changed. Come on, focus, you dumb thing. Is this a Jamicon? Anyway, look at our look at our drive now.
95.5 KLOS one of these days. Hi. Hey, JD. How's it going? Hey, pretty good. What's up? Good. Hey, I wondered if we can hear some monkey wrench today. Yeah, I know I can work that in for you. Not a problem. Awesome. It's been a blend of emotions of a day. Yeah, boy, no kidding, huh? <laughs> yep. All right. Well, thank you so much, and, and you have a good one, and we'll talk to you later. All right. I'll throw a monkey wrench in the works for you. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Yeah, I guess the drummer got his vac scene. Yeah, so one capacitor. You know, that's usually, I don't know why that capacitor is usually the one that goes bad. This is AM. Feel at the season. Oh, no. the, the, the sensation of uh, weakness. So if there is a tingling, burning, and numbness, or there's a loss of power and strength, and that's going usually gradually. These radios, you turn them all the way up, they should always go way into clipping. If they don't go away into clipping distortion, they're not working right. And then uh, it goes down, and there might be. Philip Yu, founder of 21st Century Pain Institute. You gotta check on the weather together for every 10 minutes on the phone. And here's Tim Greenwood. On the 710 southbound at long. The earliest. Guided stem cell therapy. Antenna's facing the wrong way for me to get Mozart. El problema emocional is From cryptocurrency to life insurance. Here's a Black Lives Matter radio. To self sovereignty and there's also additional courses and more. Join the virtual underground railroad or text four two four three one seven seven three. Use your crypto to get your hair done and your nails did. Seven three, and get information on how to join the Virtual Underground Railroad. Welcome to the Virtual Underground Railroad with me, Naja Roberts. Weekdays, weekend, we've got a lot to talk about. You're listening to KBLA Talk 58. So, that was my... That was my dissection of Wiz Khalifa and Charlie Percy you again.